Hey everyone, Shawnee here with Great Expectations Realty and I wanted to make a really quick video to go over something for new agents and maybe even for clients um, who are doing that. It's not cool, so I wanted to highlight it. Um, so when I just became an agent, this happened to me so many times and it made me upset I would say because it's not cool for people to use people like that so as a new agent some people would come from other parts of Florida they want to move here to Ocala and they already have a friend a family member who has a license in Florida and when you are licensed in Florida as a state you can put an offer buy and sell anywhere in Florida and um, so you would have um, people coming from other parts of Florida. They already have an agent. They already have a family member who, who is an agent, but they don't know the area. So what they would do is um, have an agent here in Marion County in Ocala do all the legwork. So what they would do is they contact you and they say, oh, I need an agent. Can you show me this and can you show me that? In the beginning though, as a new agent, I don't know. I wasn't easy to ask people to sign a buyer broker agreement with me. I don't know why. It was part of what I have to do for my brokerage, but I would still go ahead and show people properties and stuff. And then after that, I guess if they like me, then I would have them sign the, prob um, the broker agreement, the buyer broker agreement for me. Um, because I feel like at that point, they like me. They see that I put in a lot of work. They wouldn't have any issue to sign it. Even though that's not what my broker taught me, but that's what I was doing. <laughs> but I was wrong. After a few times that happened to me, first there was a lady that called me from St. Pete's area and she had a million questions about buying here in Ocala. I set her up with a, with a um, automatic search so she would get like emails every day about properties that she likes. And she would ask me questions. She wanna know what part of Ocala they are. You know, she wants me to give her all kind of information and I gave that to her. And then soon she told me she's coming to Ocala to check out the area or whatnot. So I was like, okay, um, I can meet you, um, you know, let's meet at a Starbucks or something. Let's go over some listings and then I'll go show you some. And then she didn't want to meet with me. I was like, okay, I don't understand. She's like, oh no, don't worry. I'm just coming to check out the area and stuff. And then when I'm ready, I'll let you know. So I'm naive, I'm like, okay, something didn't sit right with me, but I was like, okay, it's fine. And then lo and behold, she went, she came here to, um, to Ocala from St. Pete's and then um, she found what she likes. And then I'm trying to call her to see like, okay, you check out the area, how can I help you? Do you want to see anything? You know, I, because I already gave her all the information about the area. And then this lady told me, Oh no, I have my own agent. Thank you very much. At least she was, you know, all out there and, tell, and told me she has her agent. So she had me do all the work. And then she came with her agent exactly where I told her what she wanted to know. And then she had her agent, you know, put in the offer. At least for her, I didn't do any legwork. I gave her information, which still took a lot of time um, out of my day to do that. But then I had another one who came here and um they had me show them eight houses in one day and i didn't have them sign a buyer broker agreement first i drove all day i was hungry i you know i spent gas we went all over the county in different areas i'm i'm not joking we saw eight properties that day they didn't put any offer on any of them they claim to not like any of them can you imagine that uh, for someone to see eight properties all of them they were handpicked by them and then they said they didn't like any but what they did was they had me do all the legwork and then when they found what they liked they had their agent write um, the offer because I found out that that's what they did I can't remember how I found out but I did and um, so after it kept happening now i do exactly what i was taught so i ask people first before i you know go drive around do video tours and all of that 
people have to sign a buyer broker agreement with me especially right now gas is what almost like five dollars a gallon i know i'm exaggerating but last week it wasn't that far off um and then you know there is gas there is my time and i'm neglecting other clients of mine to go show someone you know properties all day and then they wouldn't even sign a buyer broker agreement with me <laughs> something is wrong with that so my advice for new agents um even if you are part of a brokerage that will not charge um clients um, for canceling with you for no apparent reason still have them sign that buyer broker agreement still send it to them if they don't want to sign it then you you have your answer you know that they don't really want to work with you they're just wasting your time mm -hmm. and your time is money your time is valuable you shouldn't have anybody waste your time and that's how we work we do all the work, leg work we don't know if you are going to get paid until um, you know a deal is done so at least you have to know that this person is like serious before you give it your all because for me as an agent anyone who has worked with me I have given it my all you know I could be like sick bedridden I will make it happen it doesn't matter so before you give it your all make sure that you have them sign the buyer broker agreement if they don't want to sign it then I think that's your answer just move on to the next client and don't waste your time and even recently I have like some clients coming from different parts of um, Florida South Florida mostly and other parts they don't know Ocala they, they can't access certain things in here because um, they you know they have to look at houses but what I found out is that they would already have their own agent either the agent cannot make it all the way up here to look at the house or whatever the case may be the agent cannot come here the agent doesn't know the area so they want somebody to waste their time to go show them all of those properties they want you to drive from one end of the county to the other end but they have no intention or um in doing business with you so that's what has happened to me recently but I know how to weed them out now. So if somebody don't want to commit to working with me as an agent, and I feel like I am a, a dedicated agent in my own right, anybody can just Google my name. I do the work, I make it happen. So if you want me to drive you around, but you don't want to sign a paper to be committed to, to working with me, then it's not gonna happen. So new agents, Follow what your broker tells you. Have people sign a buyer broker agreement before you waste your gas, put mileage on your car, and do all of that and drive people around who have no business working with you. People who want to use you and waste your time and then just go ahead and work with someone else. And also, people, it's just not cool. You know what I mean? If you have an agent in another part of Florida, your agent can very well transfer you to one of us here in Ocala and your agent will still, you know, get a referral fee. They may not get the whole commission, but they'll get a referral fee for doing absolutely no work. So why use somebody? Why do that to somebody who has bills to pay, who, you know, whose time is valuable as well? I mean, I couldn't in good conscience do that to somebody. So, you know, don't, you know, don't do to other people what you would not like somebody to do to you. That's just what it is. Even the Bible says it and almost everything the Bible says is applicable in everyday life. So do unto others the same that you would want someone else to do unto you. So don't do that to people, no use people and new agents cover your bases whether or not you charge a fee if they cancel with you is up to you if you know but let's say they don't want to sign that buyer broker agreement then you have your answer whether you would want to you know not charge them that fee at the end i don't know what it is but craft your agreement in a way that would protect you and if that person ends up just like canceling and doesn't want to work with you move on 
because you have so much other people who would want to work with you then focus on those people who want to work with you instead of someone who wants to waste your time because we pay way too many fees <laughs> and we spend way too much time doing this job for us to be like be, just be taken advantage of it's just not cool so yeah that's all i wanted to say today and i hope it helps somebody